Welcome to XCR16, and it's the Ekaden Relay Round down here at Anglesey. The beautiful backdrop of the Surf Coast Shire, we come down to compete for what is traditionally one of the most competitive events on our calendar. The course is challenging hilly and consists of anywhere from three to six runners as they go out and back in this traditional Japanese Ekaden Relay. So let's pick up the action in the Women's Open Premier Division. Starting with the longest leg, out front early in the Premier Women's Division was Virginia Maloney for Collingwood, then Sinead Diver for South Melbourne, Geelong's Ellie O'Kane and Amelia Aslanides for Glenn Huntley. Diver moved to a slender lead at the first changeover, Anna Kelly second runner for South, Akana Murray Bartlett up next for the Magpies, then Sarah Waters for Geelong Region. Kelly kept the lead but Waters took Geelong into second place on the back half of the course. Bronwyn Humphreys up next for South. Murray Bartlett regained second for Collingwood. Heather Gaunt the next runner. Sarah Walker for Geelong. Difficult terrain didn't slow Humphreys. Waters moved into second for Geelong while Rebecca Beagley took Glenn Huntley into third. OK, where's my next runner hiding? Jane Grabinski makes an appearance just in time. Geelong back in second for Rochelle Brennan, their next relay runner. Stacey Bolger continuing the hunt for the Hunters. While Grabinski kept the lead, Bolger put Glenn Huntley into second. Brennan not far behind for Geelong. Lana Plyman starts the anchor leg with South holding a big lead. Geelong and Glenn Huntley swap places again as Cara Peak and Enesaw take up the battle. Plyman out front. Peak increased the lead over Glenn Huntley. South Melbourne finished nearly four minutes ahead of the next team. Peak hangs on to second for Geelong, only eight seconds in front of Glenn Huntley. And last year's winners, Knox, in for fourth this year. Uh, yeah, we, we were pretty strong today. Um, Sinead obviously taking off the anchor leg um, got us in the position that we needed to be in. Uh, we weren't too sure who was going to be our main competition today, but we thought we didn't think would have a bit more of a buffer again against Glenn Huntley and um, worked out pretty well in the end, yeah. It was only four, four or so years ago that we struggled to get one women's team together and now got a team in every division and, and just just the strength, the, the fun that we have is the main is the main thing that gets us across the line. And I think you need a bit of fun because the feedback in the course is it's pretty damn hilly. Yeah, um, but you know, enjoyable hills, enjoyable hills, um, especially those, the, the, the single trails through the bush, um, I think quite a few of our girls um, enjoyed that, as did I. For the Premier men, Martin Mashford was the early leader for Melbourne Uni. Then Jordan Nelson of Knox and Harry Smithers for Geelong Region. Nelson brought Knox to the lead at the first changeover, handing over to Craig Appleby. Melbourne Uni a close second. Frankie Conway, their next runner. Geelong and Sir Stevens change next. At the third changeover, Uni had taken the lead. Charlie Park out front. Knock second as Eddie Wilson took over. Sir Stevens as Jamie Wagstaff passed to Lachlan Aspinall. Frankston into fourth with Sean Whip. Then Riley Shaw for Geelong. Park for Uni. Aspinall now in second for St Stephens, with Shaw bringing Geelong into third. The order stayed the same for the next changeover. Zach Newman for Melbourne Uni. Sam Quirk for St Stephens. Xavier Renison up for Geelong. Matt Davey working hard for Frankston. Paul Munro takes up the next leg for Uni. Ben Buckingham for St Stephens. Davey brings Frankston into third. Ned Verway their new runner. 
then Geelong as Eamon Anderson starts his league. At the last changeover, Munro passes to Eric Awada for uni. Lachlan Connell anchors St Stephens. Andre Waring brought Box Hill up to third as a wily Daniel Clark takes off. Julian Uwe takes up the chase for Geelong. Awada looking comfortable. Connell holding second for St Stephens. Uwe had overtaken Box Hill to move Geelong into third. And Clark not giving in. Awada brings it home for uni, their very first men's Premier Division relay victory in their 125 years. St Stephens takes the silver. Geelong holds off Box Hill for the bronze. Geelong won this race last year. Did you guys sit down beforehand and say, you know, that's it, we want to go out and win the gold medal, or did it just happen naturally? No, every Thursday we have a pretty uh, pretty serious team meeting at the pub, and um, <laughs> and we, we put down our goals, and um, yeah, we, we, every week we're trying to get that um, number one spot. It's just been, it's, this year's been amazing. We've actually been able to get um, Frankie uh, off a farm. He uh, was over there... Um, He's just trying to renew his visa, so he's in um, Shepparton picking apples for about uh, three months. But I think he's actually been in Kenya doing bloody altitude training the way he's going. You did come second as a team at uh, Sandown Relays. You must be chuffed to win Anglesey today. Yeah, really stoked. It was, it was a great team effort. Like, everyone just really had a crack. You know. In the junior events, the winners for the women were at the Dix Essendon, under 20. Diamond Valley in the under 18s. And Western Athletics in both the under 16 and under 14 divisions. For the junior men, Killer St Bernard's won the under 20s. Then Ballarat Region dominated the rest of the grades with wins in the under 18s, under 16s, and under 14s. And we leave you with some of the great aerial vision captured on the day. Share and subscribe to Aspect TV.